All right. Um. So to show what I'm gonna be doing, I have my laptop, and I'm taking it around to show what I'm gonna be doing. Now over here we have some bear meat, a nice big shoulder. Let me rotate so you can see. There's more in the plastic bag, but yeah, this is only one shoulder of it. And I'm gonna start cutting it up. Um. And I would like to show you that I'm doing this. Let me just over here. A nice big fat chunks that I'm cutting out of it. Now, if I just had something wheel over here so you could see better, that'd be nice. But I don't. So, with my bread knife here, oh, nice big pieces. Bear, here, there's a bigger piece that I cut off already. Ah. Nice big chunk of bear shoulder. Now, I'm gonna try to get as much as possible in. Ugh, because it's still kind of partially frozen, but the bread knife is doing very well cutting through it. I'm gonna try to get as much as possible off the bone into Ziploc bag after I soft it severely and um, then freeze it again. I'm gonna try to take this to Puerto Rico because um, we're trading about like a few, three, four pounds of black bear meat for a whole pig. Um, it's a, we're trading with a neighbor, so, you know, something nice. All right, um, so I'm gonna be trying to cut this as best as possible. Oh. And now it's cutting quite nicely, even though a lot of it is frozen, so. Yeah. Any questions or comments, go ahead and say, oh, look at that. Right here, we have one big giant piece. Now one thing too that I found out while cooking this is that it'll swell up. I'm talking about it'll just like turn into like a meatball sometimes. Um, it happened to me uh, last time whenever I was cooking it, but that was because I probably marinated it for, um, I don't know, like three and a half days to try to get that wild flavor out. And when I did such, uh, I think all the moisture that got sucked into it basically made it from a nice floppy piece of juicy tenderized meat to a very floppy piece of, well, meatball. Because it was basically a, a strip about yay big, and then suddenly it turned into a huge chunk. All right, now on this side, let's rotate this sucker. All right, here's part of some bone. Um, okay, here we go. Now, as I'm cutting this, oh, you can see, you know, all the, you know, even the large fat deposits in there will probably give a lot of flavor, but at the same time, I'm gonna, well, cut out a few bits of it, I'm gonna keep it on the side, while well, I'm gonna try to get as much, you know, of the muscle as I can. Hopefully I can shove it into one of these large Ziploc bags, and, well, as after I, as I've been described, drown it in salt so it can help preserve it so whenever it freezes throughout you know my long trip to Puerto Rico because I cannot take ice oh look at that nice big chunk because then I cannot take ice hopefully it'll be able to hold itself together for a while I'll have it in a ziploc bag wrapped in some saran wrap then wrapped with a towel to try to keep it you know cold or keep the cold inside that's my plan. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, if I had a bandsaw like they use at uh, the butcher shops, that'd make it a lot easier. But that's fine. This thing is cutting through it very well. Oh man, this is a nice piece of steak. Look at this. It's like that thick, like a wedge too. Mm-hmm. This will be delicious. But yeah, black bear. All right. Um, any questions or suggestions? Go ahead and hit me up. Um, I only got a few days with this uh, shoulder here before it's all gone or frozen, already packed up and everything. Um, yeah. Hope I can eat some of it before I go to Puerto Rico. So, thanks for watching.